A power outage across the southern Yukon over the weekend may have helped a thief nab some artwork at Whitehorse's Canada Games Centre. When the lights came back on, a moose antler carving valued at about $50,000 was missing. Cheryl Kawaja reports. It represents three years of my life. Yukon carver Shane Wilson says he was shocked to hear his work was the target of theft. It just felt like a terrible sense of loss. Also, in a strange sort of backhanded way, it's a bit of a compliment that someone would feel that my work is worth stealing. Called Yukon Seasons, the art piece is an entire skull and antlers of a moose. It's intricately carved in a northern theme. Police are reviewing video footage from on-site security cameras to determine when the break-in occurred. Around 3.40 a.m., the city of Whitehorse had a blackout that lasted over an hour. According to Linda Rapp, staff on duty didn't notice anything until after the power was restored. She's the city's park and recreation manager. It was definitely not an act of vandalism. Uh, There was no other damage at all. You know, nothing was smashed. It was uh, a very targeted operation. Rapp says someone smashed through a front window and went straight for the carving's glass case on the second floor. Theft of public art is not common in the north, and without a private plane, the thief or thieves will have a two-day drive to the nearest big city in the south. Shane Wilson figures whoever stole it might just keep it. I can't imagine that you'd be able to sell it, because there's only one of those in the world. Cheryl Kawaja, CBC News, Whitehorse.